Howdy, hi. The background is uh, early Wilson's World, and I'll explain what I'm doing in this video in a minute. It's uh, the 600th video. But anyway, uh, recently I had a floating magic turd in a video, and I had one that turned into a stone wall and flowers, and I had another turd that turned into white turds and bunny holes. So the magic turd has been a recurring theme. So I was talking in uh, comments to Crazy Paper Mastered, which is kind of appropriate, and he uh, mentioned something about it. And I had at the back of my mind something I'd been thinking about, and I think there should be a ballad of Kevin and the Magic Turd. So I ripped off a little bit of it, and uh, I've got to get to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get to the grocery store, but I ripped off a little bit of it in comments. Uh, this is ball the ballad of uh, Kevin and the Magic Turd. Kevin was a kind of sad lad, but when he found the Magic Turd, it made him glad. His aim was fame, money, and college for his boy, so the Magic Turd filled him with joy. For a never-ending game, Kevin had the scoop. He'd lure hardcore gamers with poop. Gamers hide in basements and mash buttons in the dark with a quest for poop that make their mark. Silly noobs, this is for uncompromising survival players. We kill dragons. Now we're poop slayers. <laughs> like I said, from here it's uh, about a kind of celebratory video for 600 because the playlist ends at 600 and we move on to the uh, fourth season. Uh, the background is just a background. It's uh, video number 428. That is the uh, video in which Wilson's current world started. Now, this video has no Don't Star play in it except that what I'm going to do, this is the 600th video. And I don't have any real bright ideas. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up all the cartoons that I can find. And you'll, you'll understand what I mean if you don't when you see those. And then maybe some compilations from different, uh, different events. And not, I don't know, I, I'm torn. I haven't decided. I'm always torn, aren't I? I haven't decided whether to do... Uh, Brief clips from uh, Wilson's uh, journey to almost day 600, or uh, just in general from from Don't Starve. I'm, I don't know. Probably from Wilson would be the more meaningful at this point. But anyway, the significance of the 600th video is is a couple of things. Number one, uh, my personal goal is to do 1,000 videos in the core series, and that may or may not be Wilson. It's just what I consider the center of the channel. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that with all the spinoffs and the various things I've done with Don't Starve, I imagine there's at least 800 Don't Starve videos. But I'd like to see that number 1,000 on a video. Um... YouTube, only, another issue is YouTube only allows 200 videos per playlist, and we're in season three. That was suggested by Eddie as far as labeling each uh, playlist, and I thought it really, it's not imaginative. I mean, no offense, Eddie. <laughs> you know, TV shows do it, um, but it's simple. You can go one, two, three. Three. I was thinking about naming each one with a cute little play on words, and it's like nobody ever, will ever figure out which one is playlist one, two, three, etc. So this is the last uh, video in, in playlist number three, and we're moving on to playlist number four. Uh, if I do hit 1,000 videos, it will definitely not be the end of my uh, Don't Start Playing. Uh, there's a there's a bunch of things I'm thinking about doing, and um, I don't really want to discuss those here. I've got quite a few different ideas, uh, especially since things seem to slow down a bit in between tests and uh, updates. Now, the next update ought to be just a you-know-what, because 
they didn't get runes done and Kevin's back from a kid and he ought to be just completely psyched and pumped. Uh, my wife was into astrology and believe it or not, there are things that seem to pan out. And after the birth of it, look up uh, professional athletes and um, after the birth of a kid, they just, they will set records. So anyway, <laughs> and I guess he's working on the controls and stuff. But, you know, regardless of that, knowing Kevin, even with our differences in, in, in <laughs> creative ideas <laughs> and certain mechanic, you know, game devices, uh, I, I think the guy is amazing. I just think he can be an idiot at times, which is true of many people that are amazing, including me. So... But I think the next uh, update could just be, a, a, you know, all the rune stuff. And they've had a lot of extra time to work on it. And the last update was kind of poop. I'm sorry, but it was. I mean, oh, here's a couple of magic wands. And uh, we screwed up your uh, science devices. <laughs> oh, and there's a thing that sits on your head and goes slurp. <laughs> so anyway, you can, uh, like I said, there's there's no gameplay per se in this. It'll be clips from different things. You can either watch it or not, but that's true of every video. I do want to thank everybody that's it's been with the. Let me, yeah. I do want to thank everyone that's been with the channel since the very first, and everyone that is with the channel now. There have been a huge number of ideas and questions and just thoughts in general that have turned into videos and it has changed the channel you people are a huge part of the channel so but that's it the next uh, playlist will quite simply be season four there'll be a jump there in the film because i just looked up and it's right as i'm making this film there are 3694 subscribers so like i said i want to thank all of you uh, and uh, the the next video 601 is already made. I just uh, I usually I have this <laughs> the numbers get by me. I don't even think about subscribe. I don't think about number of subscribers. I don't think about number of videos. We're com I'm coming up on 1500 videos in 10 months too, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. It'll be almost 11 months probably when it hits 1500. And it's not something I'm shooting for. It's just something somebody mentioned to me. And my uh, my kids coming over. This is Friday, and my kids coming over this evening. So I may not get a lot a lot of stuff done tonight. Y'all take care of yourselves and enjoy. And and like I said, I thank all of you for uh, being with the channel as long or as short or as whatever as you've been. And the the comments have quite frequently whether they were questions or whatever led to videos so and there's been a huge amount of information over time that i have missed where it's did you know that or you're doing that wrong <laughs> now some of the detail i don't need like you know you should be making uh this food instead of that food and uh, you know i'm i'm cool on that to me that's style but if i if I put a bucket on Wilson's head and, and think it'll fly him to the moon and you know it won't, well, feel free to tell me about that one. All right, later on. It is said that if a lumberjack scratches his ass at midnight on a full moon, there is a curse. Wilson, football coach. Environmentalist, animal lover, proud father, it has been a while. I am sorry, sir, but keeping body parts in your refrigerator is unacceptable. Yes, it does to appear very large to be a human eye. Just because you have a kite doesn't mean you know how to fly it. <laughs> uh, in any world, pigs will be pigs will be pigs. At the one-year mark, Wilson noticed a popping sound, but attributed to eating off the ground and a general decline in sanity. However, there were times when he couldn't shake the feeling that there was something sneaking up behind him.
Learning from a native, always listen to the locals. They know more about the environment than you do. And some of them are a lot bigger than you are. Worshipping pagan gods. You never know when you might need just a little bit of help. And you can fix it when you get back. But I liked making flower garlands, frolicking with the beef loaf, and those pig parties. My gracious, those were fun. What do you mean I need a stockpile? I want my stuff back, you bastard. Learning to share with others. George the Beefalo, do you see a deer clops? Bob the Beefalo, what deer clops? I see a two leg chasing another two leg. I always wanted to awaken a princess with a kiss. Maybe I have been on the island way too long. Friends may try to hide from responsibilities. In the end, they will only cause pain to themselves as they catch on fire and burn. But they will try to hide yet again. Those you consider friends may turn against you. You can only trust in that ball bat with nails that you carry around. No, dear, I don't think we're lost, and I don't hear banjo music. I think there's something wrong with this damn map. <laughs> no, I didn't know we were out of dog food. Are you really sure it can't wait until in the morning? They don't look that hungry. Run through the beefalo and don't look back. Or maybe just look back just a tiny bit, just to gloat a little bit. Thank you, beefalo. Really, I like your friends. Have them come over any time. I don't mind cleaning up after them at all. And they're so polite. Wilson was forced to consider making flea, tick, and mosquito collars for his dogs. Either that or just to calm them down, give them one sharp whack right in the head. <laughs> Between the eyes, preferably. It had become a busy environment. It's not easy to determine where anyone is on the food chain anymore. <laughs> and it will be forever funny watching a pig get stung in the ass. <laughs> so is the frog eating the mosquito or vice versa? Quiet in the library does indeed mean quiet and the rules will be enforced. And don't hop around like that when I'm speaking to you. Miss Wickerbottom thought the bathroom facilities were primitive and the toilet paper remarkably rough, almost stick-like. In fact, that tree was beginning to look very inviting to her. <laughs> the cafeteria vending machines lacked the soup, potato chips, and hostess cupcakes she preferred. And the microwaves were just, seemed just absolutely primitive. No, I don't think the penalties for late books are excessive at all. Just return your books on time. And there goes Tokyo. No more late night monster movies and pizza for me. It always gives me the screaming nightmares. Well, at least campus security is here. Hmm. Looks like there may be some openings in campus security. <laughs> Fire is the devil's only tool. And yes, I know that's not quite correct, but there's copyrights you just don't want to mess with. You are one ugly winter walker. What the hell are you? I'm the governor of California. <laughs> Worship of pagan idols, my dying arse. I'll worship a rat's behind on a stick if it saves my life. Spending time with old friends is always a special pleasure, especially if you haven't seen them in a few days. They cannot all be seeing eye dogs. They behave like bite me in the arse dogs. And they're not housebroken. Now, I do want that to go. I probably am going to. She's chopping that tree with a shovel. 
There you go. Wicker Bob chopping a tree with a shovel. That is the second ugliest ice sculpture I have ever seen. No, I didn't have anything to add. Miss Wickerbottom liked the fall bonfires around campus, but you would think the students were capering eight-legged madmen on drugs at their parties. Would she ever get used to her new campus? The new teaching assistant seemed a bit of a bird brain, but a gentle tap got her attention and reminded her that she had forgotten her purse. She found the new student hairstyles extreme, but pants at half mast were truly offensive. No one wants to see that. Pull those pants up. I'm telling you, the air conditioner thermostat is stuck and birds are flying in the broken window. You can't tell me you can't repair this. How had it become her job to restock toilet paper in the ladies' room? Miss Wickerbottom really wondered. But they're at least buying a better, more durable brand. The new foreign exchange student seemed quiet, but had a remarkable tongue. Perhaps French, she thought. He had a certain air of, yeah, a certain air about him. The Penn Cemetery edition on campus was puzzling, until she noticed the cafeteria tie-in. Where was that meat for the refrigerator coming from? The new Tam, or Tenna, would look better on the golf course and look great in the MG Roadster. That dark top hat kept blowing off in the slightest breeze. What has it got in its pockets, my ass? You don't look like a golem, you look like a mugger. A really big mugger. Fifty days of summer, you say? Like on the beach in Jamaica, with a pineapple hollowed out with the Mai Tai and a little pink umbrella. Yeah, that's sounding pretty good right about now. I did not say you couldn't bring pets to Viking Studies class. I said I thought it might cause a little bit of disruption overall. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can and throw these hands in right behind it. That does it. I'm switching to decaf. In fact, herbal, maybe chamomile, is sounding really good right about now. Willow, mother, figure, and provider. Be quiet, you little snot, so you gotta stick up your bum and be over a slow fire. Just kidding. Full of warmth she has to share. Come after me, you eight-legged gnarly bitch, and see what happens. A candle in the darkness. Oh, my. Oh, oh, gracious. Oh, no. Uh, Willow, Willow, your doctor said, uh... Always happy to share. Give me my stuff back, you bastard. Ah, it's day 500 also, which is... <laughs> I kind of uh, slipped right on by me. Sorry about that. I don't have anything special planned for it. Uh, it's another day in Wilson's world. It's the day Wilson dies to a tentacle. <laughs> Because, you know, Wilson will do anything, but uh, I don't know how to get one in the game. Oh, shoot!
arthritis, arthritis. to the rescue. Jim Dandy to the rescue. It's a damn good thing. Well, I'm not carrying meat. I am carrying meat. Well, that could have been a very, very bad thing. Yeah, the win for the Hoppy Hops. There they are if you have not seen them. 